Good. Good midnight world. It is 11.57 p.m. It's pretty much midnight, right? I hope you guys enjoyed my video I made earlier. Where I talked about my, uh... The hypothetical topic. I love talking about that because I had a lot to entertain you guys. But I told you, it's, chances are it's not going to happen. <laughs> it's not happening. These women around the world are not meant for me. They're ex. My father run away. They're not meant for me. They can't live forever with me. The one thing, the one flaw about this is I know all these women who I date, it doesn't matter how young they are, I know eventually they're all going to age. Even if I date a 25 year old, in 15 years they're going to be 40. Is that right? In 20 years they're going to be 45. They're all going to age. I'm not going to and I'm not going to stay with you until you're 80. It's not going to happen. Is that right? VJ is meant for me. These women in Hollywood are not meant for me, obviously. You guys, you, you women, all these women who are going to have sex with it's finally going to hit your minds. Yeah, Ivan says that we're not meant for Ivan. Yes. You're going to have sex with me and my father will run away. And you're all pissed off, obviously. What the fuck? Like, Ivan ran away. Yeah, man, I gave you the warning. If you want to have sex with me, you're going to get ripped off. I'm going to ask you this question, Hollywood woman. What did you get by doing this? It caused a mess of my life. Why didn't you get a piece of me and you and my father runs away and now you're pissed off? And you chose my, my uh, me and VJ's sex over our glory. And being safe forever by God. Because you, you guys are rapid people, obviously. I would choose God's glory any day over fucking sex, man. It's bullshit sex. It's not It's not just sex. It's bullshit sex. It's rip-off sex. You chose the worthless over something that's worthless. You guys are rabbit people, obviously. And once I'm king, you guys are going to regret your decision. It's finally going to hit your minds. Yeah, I can't believe we chose Ivan and Vijay's sex over their glory in the public eye. This glory that we're, that we're, that we're missing out of behind the scenes, you would, this all would have been the public eye. Yeah. All would have been the public eye, man. I, right now, I would have made hundreds of YouTube videos for you to watch. Me and VJ make like 100. We would, have, we would have had a nice professional setup, nice camera. We would make like two hour, three hour videos on YouTube. You guys would watch us. You would have seen Ivan and VJ on the red carpet. In Hollywood. I don't know if me and VJ would have been in Hollywood if the doors are open on us. But my guess is we would have been in Hollywood. Or we, would, we me and VJ would, would have started our own entertainment company. I don't know. But either way, you would have seen me and VJ in the public eye, you see what I'm saying? But most likely, me and VJ would have been in Hollywood. Had you opened the door for us, obviously. Me, me, me and VJ would have been in Hollywood. Would have been in Hollywood, li li living the Hollywood life, obviously. But once I'm king, me and VJ are now living the Hollywood life. Except we're not, we're, we're free. We're not, we're not sellouts. That's the difference, obviously. So the life that all these celebrities are living, that's the life me and Vijay are going to live when we're king and queen, obviously. Except we're going to live the better life than them as we're living the billionaire life and, and we're free. Whereas these Hollywood celebrities are, are living the life, but they're not free. They're sellouts, obviously. They're all sellouts to the system, I'm sorry. They have to do the constantly, don't hate me, they have to constantly do it to make their money, obviously. Yeah. So I thought, I, I, I thought it'd be cool to make a hypothetical video if I were, God forbid, not say VJ, then I, I'm, I, I thought it'd be cool to make a video about my options. I have a few options in the hallway I would go for, if they're single, obviously. If they're not single, I'm not going for them, since they're... Those are my, some of my options, obviously. But I know it's not worth it, because these women are... I don't mean to be rude, these women are garbage. They're like they're, they're attractive on the outside. Like, you have sex with them and you see what they have. You see the warts, you see the pimples, you see the yellow, you see the white, you see the brown, and then you know what I'm saying you see the uh, the warts. And you're like, holy shit, these women are garbage. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm a bit grossed up by it because I'm a holy obviously. And the room has a bad odor to it. Their area has a bad odor to it. And I'm saying I'm a man. Like these women are garbage, man. Yeah. Whereas VJ, when I save her. She gets her healing in her in her in in, in her a rotten eggy ass vagina, obviously. So her ass will no longer be rotten eggy ass. It'll be nice and fresh and clean. She gets her miracle healing, obviously, when I die, obviously. And that's how she sees me. So the day I die, I don't know when Vijay will see me. My guess is the moment I wake up, that's when Vijay sees me. 
because I died, and, and now, and now that that is now that she's now I, I eliminate the X, and Vijay gets her healing, and then she now sees me obviously, and the crying now stops obviously. All right, but how do you stop Vijay's crying? I have she has to see the light. As long as she does not see the light, the crying will never stop because she's crazy obviously. In order to stop Vijay's crying, she has to see the light. That's why Vijay, tr she's fucking evil, man. Yeah, how can I get Ivan to die if me annoy, annoy his sleep off? But I told you, if I were to run off, I would go to the doctors and I would have them prescribe me with sleeping pills. Hey, I have a tough time sleeping. Can you prescribe me with sleeping pills? And they would give me sleeping pills. And I would blast music every night. I will take the sleeping pills to help me sleep. And I will blast music every night. Because I remember I took sleeping pills a few years back. I went to the doctors. When I went to the doctors and, and they, for, for, for my checkup, obviously... I, when I, when I, show, I told you my story when, when I when I for my checkup obviously in my private area, uh, the, I pull I pulled up my pants. The doctor saw my area obviously. He prescribed me with sleeping pills uh, back then. I remember I took them and I, I and I passed out when I slept. But I, I haven't taken them since and they they eventually threw it away. Obviously, I'm gonna probably take pills like that. If I were to run off, I would take sleeping pills to help me sleep. Obviously, hey, I need I need a sleeping take a sleeping pill that way. When I go to bed, I just crash and burn and I sleep. Okay, I don't have to hear we just annoying crying obviously because we just crazy obviously some center. So that's how, how what I would do. I'll blast music every night and I would take sleeping pills to help me sleep. That way I don't have to deal with just annoying crying. Because she's crazy, she'll cry even heavier because she's crazy obviously. She's a crazy woman, obviously. She knows she's never gonna be with me, she's gonna become a crazy woman. DJ. Become this crazy psychotic like woman if I <laughs> if I ran off. I'm not kidding around. Victoria Justice would become a crazy psychotic woman if I ran off. She'd be this crazy woman, man. She would date men in Hollywood, obviously, who she likes. But they're never gonna make her they'll make her happy, but never make her fully happy. And she's gonna become a crazy woman. She'll cry every night in her arms. Like BJ, why are you crying? He's, oh, she's crying because she, she she's hell. And she wants to be with me, obviously. She's meant for me, obviously. That's what I'm saying. Those men are like, man, BJ's fucking annoying, man. Like, shut the fuck up. Yeah, man. She's that crazy, man. If, if she doesn't see the light, she's gonna, she's never going to stop crying, man. She's a crazy woman. Yeah, man. She sees hell. The crying will never, will never stop. It's going to go on forever. Well, I mean forever. I mean forever. It's never going to stop. She's that. Victoria Justice is that crazy. She's never going to sleep. She's gonna cry all night long because she's crazy. All she's a crazy woman, obviously. She wants to see the light badly, but she that she saw when she was a kid. I want to see that beautiful light. I want to see Ivan's spirit. Obviously, Ivan's father, which is my spirit. Obviously, I want to see his spirit in that light. And then every night when she dreams, the screen stays black, and I run away. Obviously, she becomes crazy and she cries all night long. Well, she can easily sleep, obviously, but she knows. BJ knows, before I talk about the movie here, BJ knows if I don't, if she doesn't cry all night long, I might take her for granted, obviously. And, uh, and I might not save her. Okay, B, Ivan has, if, if I let Ivan have a peaceful sleep, Ivan will not know how, how much I hate seeing hell, how serious this shit is. Yeah, how do I get him to, to die for me? Annoy his fucking sleep, man. I told you, I could, there's a, there's a way I could get away with Sleeping through BJ's crying. I'll just take sleeping pills. Pop one pill and I pass out on my bed and I'm out. And I pass out. And I blast music every night, obviously, to, to for BJ's annoying crying. If I did not sleep or God forbid. Some Sarah. But I am going to save her. Because is my baby. She's my wife. And she's mad for me. And I, I, to be honest, these women are not going to are not gonna make me as happy as she will. They'll make me happy, but not as happy as, as her. Because she's blue. She's special, obviously. Some Sarah. Yeah. I'm going to regret it. And I can't believe I fucking ran off of that. I would have had I would have had an updated look with a glowing beauty. My full-blown beauty. My wife would have been fresh. Smoking a house with glowing beauty. These women are not going to get the glowing beauty. I have sex with them. Nothing happens. There's no link with, between us. We have a physical connection because we have sex all, all the time. But like because my father runs away, like there's no really spiritual connection, obviously. So if I were to have sex with one of those three women, nothing would happen. They don't get the glowing beauty. 
Those are not meant for me. They're X. <laughs> With Victoria Justice, is not really X. She's N. I'm Y, and, and then she's not really X. But because she got infected, she's now crossed off. She's X, obviously. And now she's, she's, she's like, like the rest of the world, she sees hell. That's why she's the craziest, the craziest of them all. Because she's not... Victoria Justice was not meant was not meant to be infected. She was meant to see the light forever. But you guys have touched her. I told you don't touch her. And now in order for her to see the light, I have to die. Oh, see, see, Sarah? Because you guys are wicked people. Oh, see, see, Sarah? And now she's garbage. Complete trash and garbage. I'd rather be single than have a fucking trash you are. It's fucking gross, man. BJ's even more garbage than all those Hollywood women because more men touched her. But I guarantee all the men in Hollywood had, uh, got a piece of that. With all these women in Hollywood, all the other women in Hollywood, chances are they hooked up. Some hooked up with 10, some hooked up with 15, some hooked up with 25, 30, 40, maybe 50 men in Hollywood, some women in Hollywood. With Victoria Justice, it's the whole, the whole thing, man, the whole package. They all, they all want a piece of that because BJ's an on see, see Sarah? That's it. Cause it's not as bad as 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 as, as, as VJ. VJ is the whole everyone hooked up with her. Was the other Hollywood celebrities? Chance are they hooked up with twenty men, to fifty men? Depends how slutty the girl is. Twenty men. Yeah, you know, I've I hooked up with twenty five men in Hollywood. I hooked up with ten men in Hollywood. So Sarah, which with Tori Justice is a total mess. Cause she's and they all went after her. But you guys want to cause mess in my life? Yeah, these are wicked people, man. Sarah? Yeah, do you guys want me to talk about the Great Escape or Xanus? I don't know. I don't want to talk about the hypothetical topic because it's not going to happen. I know you guys live and I love those videos. Yeah, I know, but it's not going to happen. It's, it is cool talking hypothetically, speaking hypothetically. If I were to run away, who would I go for and all that stuff? I think you guys get the point. I'm only going to date a woman who's my age or younger. I don't mind if you're a year or like two years old than me. That's not bad. But if you're like four, five, six, seven, ten, eleven years, fifteen years old than me, it's not going to happen. If you have kids, it's not going to happen. I'm not taking care of your kids. And if you turn 40, uh, chances are I'm, gonna, uh, I'm not going to date you. I want to date a woman who's younger. Even if I'm 45, 50, I will date a woman who's younger, like 37, 35, 30 years old, even when I'm 50. If I do not say VJ, God forbid. I would do that. I would date younger women, obviously. Because at 50 years old, I'll still be able to pick up young women, like 30-year-old, 25-year-old woman. Because <laughs> at 50 years old, I'll still be handsome. Because of why, obviously, since there. And men, a lot of men are so handsome at 50. Look at Keanu Reeves, how good he looks, man. The guy's almost 60, and he, the guy's a stud. He can still, yeah, I, I can still pick up 20-year-olds. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, he can pick up chips, obviously, because he's a, any celebrity can pick up chips because they have status and they have wealth, and the women are attracted to that stuff. But like all most of the celebrity men and women are all good looking people. There's some who are quite, who are not that good looking, obviously. But like ninety nine percent of the celebrities in Hollywood are all good looking people. They're all really good looking people. Since Sarah. Most of them anyway. Some of them are not as good looking, obviously, but most of them are good looking people, obviously. And Callum Hughes is obviously a stud. He can yeah, I have an eye pickup chicks. You know what I'm saying? He's a stud, obviously. He's like, well, look how good he looks when he's and he's he's almost sixty, he looks amazing. He looks even better than what he did when he was younger. Yeah, I like Keanu Reeves' new look with his long hair and his beard. Yeah, he looks cooler than he did when he was even younger, I find. Yeah, I like that new look with the long hair and the beard. I like that new look better than your short hair look in your, in your earlier years. I'm sorry. Look how good Keanu Reeves looks. Yeah. Look how good Mel Gibson looks. I'm sorry. Peter Jackson, he he aged. He's not he's not the best looking man, obviously, but he aged. Peter Jackson is, is an example of a man who aged poorly. The guy looks like he's seventy, man. He looks older than even Mel Gibson, Peter Jackson, and he's he's younger than him. Peter Jackson is only like fifty eight years old, fifty nine years old. He looks like he's like seventy. He aged poorly. He's an example of a man who aged poorly. Back when he did Lord of the Rings, he looked like a fifty year old man back then, and he was only like 38, 39, 40. He looks he looks a bit older than what he looks, obviously. But he's an example of a man who aged poorly, Peter. He looks old, man. He looks he looks he aged poorly, obviously, Peter Jackson. Don't hate me, Peter, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whereas Mel Gibson is sixty six, still looks really good. James Cameron, sixty six, still he aged obviously, but he still looks good, James Cameron, for his age. At like sixty six years old, he still looks good, James Cameron, since Sarah. Yeah, men do not age as poorly as women, obviously. 
I mean, that's not true. Yes, you, women know it's true. Men do not age as, as poorly as women. Well, women age much quicker than men, honestly. Like I told you, you can be a 50-year-old man and still pick up a 25-year-old woman. It's very rare for a 50-year-old woman to pick up a 25-year-old man. It's not going to happen. It's, if the guy dates her, he's obviously crazy. To date a woman who's like, what, 30 years old and they're 25 years old there, since they are. Yeah. It's very common to see men who are 50, even 45, to date to dating a 25-year-old well, woman. It's very rare for a 45-year-old woman dating a man who's 25. It's very rare. Because a man knows a woman is in her 40s, she's now past her prime. The aging and wrinkles are, start, are going to start to take place. The body getting bloated, it's all going to start to start to take place, obviously. Unless the woman goes to the gym and stays in shape, she, she will remain fit, obviously. But if she, she doesn't work out, her body will become bloated, obviously. She gets, you get the wrinkles, all that stuff. Some Sarah. You get the wrinkles, obviously. Anyways, I'm not going to talk about the hypothetical topic. I need to focus. I'm going to talk about Zanus or The Greatest. I'll talk about Zanus. Just because The, the Greatest Safe is not guaranteed I'm going to do that movie, right? Higher chance I will do The Greatest Safe over The Matrix. Higher chance I will. But it's not 100%. So hence why I like talking about Zanus more. Because 100% I'm going to be doing Zanus. Unless VJ... Unless VJ does not want to start Sky Source. With me. Which she will, obviously. All right, if you kidding me? I want to be we'll be sorry with you, you know what I'm saying? And we'll make more money for ourselves. Honestly, but if VJ tells me, Ivan, I don't want to start Sky Source, I just want to run away with you and live life, okay, fine, we won't start Sky Source. And if you don't see me train with George, that means Ivan and VJ decide not to start Sky Source. Uh, Ivan decided to just live his life with his wife. Build his condo, buy his yacht, and then travel around the world, travel around Canada, America, and just go to clubs, go to bars, go to restaurants, go to events. Go to aquariums, go to parks, theme parks, and then and, and I want to go theme. I want to go to theme parks with VJ too. Um, I want to go to Six Flags in America. There's big. There's parks in, in in Japan that are popular. Japan is known for having big popular theme parks. Me and VJ can check out those theme parks. Hey, VJ, you want to go to the theme park? Yeah, let's go to the theme park. Will you go high? No, I don't want to go high to the theme park because I'm gonna trip like crazy with everyone read my mind. Um, um, I don't mind getting high if it's just me and VJ in, in, in the hotel, chilling in a jacuzzi, watch a movie together. That's fine. But, like, if I go to an event, I, I'm not going to get high. I'm just going to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If, I recommend you do not get high if you go on a theme park. You can get a heart attack. You can get a, a, a heart attack if you're blazing high, man. You know what I'm saying? If you, <laughs> There's some people who go, who go on rides when they're blazed. Don't do that. You can get a heart attack. Because weed, the weed, weed is a brain drug. It can make you trip. And if you go on a like a big, like crazy ride, you can get a heart attack uh, from, from from being high. And that's why I'm not gonna get. High. I'll get high when I. I want to get high when I watch Zanus because the air them are demons and devils. And I might get high from my documentary. My documentary. Give me a second, guys. I'm gonna go use the bathroom real quick. I'll be back in a sec. Don't hate you, Sam.
Alrighty, I'm back. I have to take a leak in the bathroom. I'm a bit pissed off because I don't have any money and I gotta wait four more days. I might I'm gonna I might wait a good two to four days for my check. I might get my check maybe on Wednesday earlier. Sometimes it comes in earlier. Wednesday to Friday I get the check. So I only gotta wait two to, th to four days. So we'll go by fast obviously and I get my check. And I'm gonna watch Avatar 2. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do for that on Friday, if I get my check Friday or Thursday, I'm gonna go to the store, I'll get 12 beers, 12 canned beers, and a pack of smokes. That'll cost me like $37, $38. Expensive, obviously. And then I'm gonna get two slices of pizza at Bob's. And I'm gonna drink my six beers for my show, my video. I'm gonna watch my video, obviously. I'm gonna make my video before I leave to, to, to the store. You guys will enjoy this show after me, obviously, before me. And I'm going to watch my shows. I'm going to watch Rab Rad's show of his Resident Evil 4 walkthrough. Amazing game, by the way. I'm having a blast watching that. And then after that, I might watch. Around that time, it'll be, it'll be nighttime. It'll probably be around like 9, 10 o'clock around there. Um, I might maybe work on my book. And then at 12 o'clock, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go on Disney+. Plus. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch that shit. I'm gonna watch Avatar 2 and binge the whole thing. And after I'm done the video, I might perhaps do a, a small little review about the movie and talk about all the Sky Source, like I did with Black Panther. Right, like Black Panther 2 was not as good as the first movie. It was a bit of a mess. The movie had it was a bit of a mess. Obviously, the plot was kind of. Remember the beginning of the movie when they 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 they, they that 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 lady, uh, what's that? The girl who who. Who, the engineer chick, the engineer black chick, yeah, they're after you, and all of a sudden that plot was like absolute. And Namor wanted that woman, the engineer woman, all of a sudden he's like, Yeah, I don't need her anymore. It was very messy, the movie was, and she, all of a sudden she's her role, her, her role was pushed to the side. They did her dirty, obviously. She's, she, yeah, her, 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 her character arc was horrible in that movie, obviously. It was a bit of a messy story, uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever. It was a bit of a mess story. It was pretty good. I don't know. For me, I give it a 6 out of 10. 6.2 out of 10. But it wasn't as good as... The, the first one was like a 9, 8.5 out of 10. Man. That was a masterpiece. Whereas the second one was not as good, obviously, since there. And I hope Avatar 2, I enjoy more than the first one. I, I watched the first one many, many times. I used to own DVD. I watched it many, many times. I loved it, obviously. Hopefully the second one's... I think it will be better. Judging from what people have said over, over, the, over the past couple months. Yeah. Yeah, so you guys want me to talk about Zanius, or do you want me to entertain you want to talk about the, 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 the hypothetical topic you want? I mean, I'm, I'm, the chance is not going to happen. That's why I'm not going to talk about it. I guarantee you some woman, I mean, you're a fucking psycho. You're talking about, as if you're like, look, man, I'm just, I'm, it's entertain. I'm, it's, all, it's, 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 it's what? It's for entertainment. You know what I'm saying? And don't say I'm a psycho talking about the hypothetical topic. When you, look at what you guys did to me, VJ. You're ten times crazier than me. You know, I, we can't say shit, Yes. I guarantee you some Hollywood woman think Ivan's crazy when he mentions all these women. I'm like, man, I'm speaking hypothetically. I'm just speaking hypothetically. I'm, 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 I'm entertaining you guys. Some Sarah. But no, I prefer to talk about Zanus because this, this this hypothetical thing is is not going to happen. You can hope and pray, woman, that I, I, I ditch BJ. That you can hold, that way you can get a shot at me. It's not going to happen. You're not that for me, man. And you woman know it. Yeah, we know what I am. Yeah, your ex. You know when you have sex with my father run away, you're not going to see me. You're all garbage and what? You're not next to me, obviously, some Sarah. As the, as the STDs I see will gross me out a little bit when I have sex with them, obviously. It's going to gross me out a little bit when I have sex with them. Some Sarah, the, the STDs that they have, yeah. I'm gonna, they all have STDs. It's going to gross me out a little bit when I'm with them, obviously. And my father will run away when I have sex with them. It's not going to work out, yeah, Ivan. Only VJ's meant for you. Yes, only VJ's meant for me, man. Some Sarah. So I I I, I kind of want to talk about the greatest hate, but I'm going to talk about Zanus. Because Zanus is, is based off my novel that I wrote, and I'm I, I'm going to be honest here. I'm much more excited about the Zanus movie than I am the Greatest Cape. Some Sarah. Greatest Cape is an amazing movie. I'm going to be hyped for that movie, but I'm much more excited for Zanus. Zanus is, a, is, a, is, a, is an amazing story. It's a masterpiece of, 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 of a novel, man, that I wrote. It took me eight years to finish it, man. I started in the end of 2011. 
I started my brainstorming in 2011, and I, I wrote down my first my first words for the, of the prologue in 2013. And from 2013 to 2018, I was very I was on and off. I only wrote like um, like four chapters from 2013 to 2018. I was very lazy, obviously. And starting in 2019, that's when I grinded. And I finished my book. I wrote I, I wrote all like seven chapters. Eight chapters, seven chapters. I wrote eight chapters, pretty much. And I decided to write a chapter about Young Tactics. And I wrote Young Tactics while I was in the hospital. I wrote Young Tactics. I wrote the whole thing in like two days. Obviously. And now, and that's when you got the announcement in 2020. And I'm not my book, obviously. I finished in 2020. Obviously, in 2020, my book, obviously. But then they hacked my laptop, but I had to rewrite like all of volume three and like a portion of volume two. Which took me four or five months. So twenty twenty one is when I when I officially completed my book. Like April May is when I officially completed my book, obviously. And and twenty twenty two is when I started my edit, for Zanus. I almost done. I'm four hundred, almost four hundred twenty pages into my edit. I have a long way to go, man. I still have like I don't know a hundred like plus pages left to edit. It's a long, it's a long book. My book will be like seven hundred. My book is gonna be about seven hundred plus pages on a computer. So in book form, you're probably looking at like an 800 page novel, man, a long novel, it's a long book. It, it depends on the font size, if it's double spaced. I'm most likely going to have it double spaced, that way you can read it better. If it's double spaced, you're looking at like a 900, 800 page book, something long. 700 page book, something long, man, yeah. Looking at a big, massive book. Not as long as the whole Lord of the Rings trilogy, but it's, it's long, it's longer than the Fellowship of the Ring book. The Fellowship of the Ring is long, I read it. You know, a, a big, big, a big, like, red book with a golden, with a gold title. You know what I'm saying? Last Hope of Zane. It's a symbol of the X. You know what I'm saying? It says by Ivan O'Mara. Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, something cool like that. And so, as all you guys who have money, I recommend you get the print. That way you read the nice, big, you get the big red book. Hardcover red book. Or, if you don't want to pay the 90, 90 bucks, you pay 22 bucks, you read the ebook, obviously. I'll take you for a ride. Looking at the best fantasy story ever told, the most ambitious uh, literature ever written, man. You guys are going to get your take out, your food. Holy shit, this is a sick book. Yeah. It's a sick book, man. This is a sick book, obviously. And once you read the book, it's finally going to hit your minds. Yeah. If you turn this into a movie, man, you're looking at like the, the greatest shows you ever made, movie shows ever made. Yeah, man. Looking at the best movie shows ever made. I think it'll top Star Wars Originals. I think it'll top Matrix. I think we'll top Lord of the Rings. I think we'll top Harry Potter. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's going to top all those. I think we'll top The Godfather. You know The Godfather is amazing. I don't think it's as good as Xanus. Xanus is a masterpiece, man. The Godfather is the best gangster movie ever made. Obviously. Um, in terms of story and quality. The most entertaining gangster movie ever made is probably Scarface for me. I find Scarface a bit more entertaining than The Godfather, but The Godfather is still a better story in terms of quality of story. Because The Godfather is not a movie I can watch many, many times. It's, it's a bit boring, the movie. It's top quality, but it's a bit it's a bit on the boring side, hence why I can't really watch it that much times. Where Scarface, I can watch that movie a shit all the time. That's a fun, entertaining movie to watch. Al Pacino. Remember in the end of the movie, the guys come after him in his house, obviously. He, smoke, he, he sniffs a bunch of coke. He gets his guns out. <laughs> He's kicking ass and he ended up killing him eventually in the end. Yeah, I was funny him, son. This woman is so polluted. Remember that? <laughs> you know, said, this woman is so polluted. His wife that he marries. And he promises her, yeah, I want I want a tiger in my backyard. You know what I'm saying? And Scarface. That was funny, you know what I'm saying? That was a good movie, man. Scarface. Yeah. <laughs> this woman is so polluted. You know what I'm saying? Remember that? <laughs> Yeah, so Ains will be a, oh, you guys are going to be shocked with my book, man. Holy shit, I even wrote, I even wrote this. All the Hollywood celebrities are going to read my book. Man, John Mayaga and all of them are lucky, man. Yeah, and all the, all the, all those Hollywood actors for Zanes are agents when they read my book. Holy shit. If I even puts a billion, two hundred dollars towards this kind of story, looking at a masterpiece, man. And all the Hollywood actors are like, oh man, you guys are lucky, man. You're going to be part of this story. Daisy Ridley, Oscar Isaac, are going to tell John Mayaga, yeah, but I read Ivan's book, man. You're going to be a part... You're lucky, man. You're going to be part of that amazing story. Eric of the devil himself. Yeah. 
And all the Hollywood, all the Hollywood actors for Zans are going to be shocked with my book. Holy shit, I even wrote a masterpiece. All the Dark City people are going to be shocked with my book. All the teachers. I even wrote this masterpiece? Yeah, I wrote it, man. Holy shit, this book is better than all these fantasy authors' books. Yeah. George R. R. Martin's Game of Thrones is better than all those books. Yeah, man. It's a masterpiece, man. It's a masterpiece, my book. I wrote a masterpiece, guys. And I'll turn that book into a movie. I'm going to make Zanes for a billion, two hundred million dollars. Looking at the biggest movie budget ever made. That's why Peter Jackson book is going to be shocked by my, uh, by my what? Peter Jackson book is going to be shocked by my what? By my story. Oh, I want to get my hands on this so bad. Yeah, they're going to, they're going to really compete hard for that job, Peter and Mel. Their age is going to tell them, okay, Peter and Mel, do not, do not sign up to any projects. Let's see if I've... They're going to tell Peter... Not, and the agents are going to tell the actors and Peter or Mel Gibson, let's see if Ivan and Vijay are going to start Sky Source first before you accept all these roles. Before you, you... Before you... Before you accept a bunch of roles in Hollywood. Let's see if they're going to start... Let's see... Let's give it a good month. Let's see if Ivan and Vijay are going to start Sky Source. If you see me trending with George, that is my cue that Ivan and Vijay are signing Sky Source. If you don't see me and Vijay trending with George, that means me and Vijay are peacing out for good. And we're not going to make movies for you guys. We're just, just going to live our life. And you guys will and, and live our billionaire life. Which will eventually get boring. Hence why I want to. And it's good to work. And it's true of mine to be a movie star. Hence why I want to start Sky Source. I want to be a movie star. I want to be. A, I want to have a documentary. Be in the game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you see me training with George. And all the Hollywood actors know. Yeah. I and VJ are starting Sky Source. Or playing Sky with George. Yes. I have plans classes with George Lucas. You see me training with George Lucas, obviously. If you don't see me training with George, that means I did not start Sky Source. If you see me training with George, that means I'm starting Sky Source. Which you will see me training with George. It means you are going to start Sky Source, obviously. I'm sorry. And George Lucas will walk me and Vijay through the whole process of starting our, our film studio. Hey, Ivan, you're going to have to register your business for taxes. You're going to have to come with a name, trademark your name. You're gonna have to register your business in the system as a, a sole partnership for you and your wife. You're gonna have to go to the bank and create a business account, Ivan. You go to the bank and create a business account. We put a billion two hundred towards the movie, four fifty, four sixty million dollars towards the game to fund the game. One seventy to two hundred million dollars towards funding the the, the, the the building project in our land. I'll probably put two hundred million to pimp it out more. Hence why hence why what I'm gonna be blowing a lot of my money, man. Two hundred million towards that massive building project. Like, Grand supposed to look like property. Yeah, a lot of work, obviously. George Lucas will help me with all that. We gotta go land shopping, buy the land, meet with the architects to plan all that. Yeah, show my camera here. 